Hello and welcome back to yet another yapping with me, Felonius the Wizard. It's Sunday again and I have thought of Windows 10. Yes, it is time. And uh, I have just recently changed to Windows 10. And for those of you who think that I am a bit late, yes, I am a bit late. Um, there was... well, I just doubted it. Uh, it was actually... Ron Smalek who said well mine is working fine <laughs> and well he wasn't impressed but it works so that's the point um, and I thought that I had missed the train so I was thinking well perhaps I should just go and buy a new computer and then I'll get Windows 10 inside that one but then my son said well it the downloading sequence is out there but they are hiding it Microsoft, you are so strange. On the other hand, I have been doing re very much updates through all these things. Uh, 3.11 was the first one that I had. Windows 95 just went straight over that one, no problems. From 95 to 98, well, it worked, but uh, there were so many quirks that, well... And then I changed to 98S, which was the Swedish version. Suddenly I could have it in Swedish. Nice. I didn't know that from the beginning. I think it was called SE, actually. And then there was a jump from 98 to XP. Didn't work very good. But the one from Next Step, uh, from XP to Windows 7, that worked well, reasonably well. On the other hand, I was into getting new stuff uh, in my computer as well. So I upgraded a lot of hardware. So when it comes to Windows 10, I was, well, I was ready. I was ready to sit and go through this computer in a week or so and uh, see what else I can do and screw it and uh, yeah. So... <laughs> Imagine my surprise when I suddenly realized that it was installing. Uh, and it was not only installing, it seems like it, I didn't have to do much. So I went to bed. <laughs> and when I woke up the next morning, before I was, should go to work, it had installed Windows 10. That was my first shock. And it was like strike one in baseball. I was stroken because that usually don't happen. I have to restart some of my versions before at least, well, five, six, seven times and I have to do it manually every time. This one, no, I fixed this, you just go away. And I did. So, strike one. <laughs> and then I looked at what I saw and of course it wasn't perfectly the same machine that I have left in Windows 7 but it looked the same all stuff were exactly where they should be all my files all my shortcuts on the desktop everything looked exactly as Windows 7 strike 2 <laughs> and I was thinking holy crap have I just missed out on this one because I am so stupid I must have thought at least many many times that this is not going to go well but it did so I was going okay and then I started to realize there was so much stuff going on um, so I just shut it down because I knew I have to end, end, restart it anyway and when I got home and get back up with the Windows 10 there was so many questions about my personal life uh, my my preferences, uh, my email. They wanted to know everything about me, and they wanted to keep me um, keep getting more stuff from me. Okay, now it's look more like it should be. So I spent at least half an hour just saying no to everything. No, no, no. You're not getting my post email. No, you're not going to. What what should you do with my mobile phone? My cell phone is my cell phone has nothing to do with my computer. 
and suddenly I realized, oh, <laughs> I win. Windows is as usual, you have to do a lot of stuff. And there are still things that doesn't work well, but the things that I wanted it to do, it does. Like a special game that I needed to do, um, it didn't start without Windows 10, suddenly it just worked splendidly. And still I didn't install it on C colon. I never installed anything on C, because C is just for Windows, nothing else. That is one rule that I have ever had, and of course it makes it a bit harder for getting around, but still, everything worked. And then I should just print out a piece of paper. For some reason, no, nope, there is no printer. What? What happens next? So I went round and went round and checked and status and all that. The only thing that I could do to fix it was to make a copy of my printer and let the copy print everything. And I still have it like that. I can't change it. Of course, I can to totally uninstall my printer and then install it again. But then I think about what my good friend Killjoy always says. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's exactly what it is. Uh, my copy of my printer is working. So why should I change anything? There is no absolutely no use in changing that. I just have to be sure that I every time that I want to print anything, whether it's... Uh, uh, the bank account or whatever, I have to make sure that I take the copy of my printer. And, well, it's not what I'm used to be doing, I can tell you that much, but it is what I should do. So, I do that. It's, yeah, I'm not really into it that much. I must say that Anything that happens in Windows 10 is not what I wanted. There was some uh, search thingy in my bar, task bar. I didn't know that. Uh, all my things in my task bar was not where they should be. There were several things not working. Uh, still, I can't get PaintShop Pro to work without a question about should you really start this one, this app. This is not an app. It's a program stupid machine it's a program so i have to yes i want to start this app because i need to use paint shop pro thank you <sighs> minecraft suddenly disappeared did not work at all no way uh, there were several others that just disappeared because they were old stuff like my 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 uh, uh, Visual Boy Advance that I have down there. I always have it down there. It was gone. So I had to go around trying to find everything. But despite all the things that are still going on, it's not as bad as it was back in the XP days when I had to almost throw the computer out and buy a new one. Actually, I did buy a new one. Not a big, uh, used one of course but still I have two XP's but still uh, the only thing that I think will work fine is the updates now that I finally are up to speed with that but otherwise yeah it works what I want however are small things I want my theme go back to as far as I can, I want it to look like Windows 95, if I'm able. It's hard, but I'm working on it. Um, I want uh, all the stuff that I w want to do should be easy to do, as it was in Windows 7. Because if there's something that I can tell you about Windows 7, it was totally flawless. There was nothing that went wrong with the Windows 7. And that is actually the main reason why I didn't uh, go for Windows 10 when I was offered. However, so far so good. This is at least about 90% of Windows 7's efficiency. So 
Ah, okay. I'm hooked. Windows 10 it is, and it's not as bad as I thought. It's okay, as Ron said. It's okay. It works. <laughs> and that is what we need. Something that just works. Thank you for listening. Bye. Thank you.